If you use Microsoft Outlook, did you know that there are some specific strategies within the people or address book section designed to save you a lot of time? Hi, Audrey Thomas with Organize Audrey, bringing you today's productivity pointer on this very topic of maximizing the people or address book section of Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to share with you two specific ways that are designed to save you a lot of time. The first one has to do with assigning a category to each of your contacts, and the second one is maximizing the notes section of each individual contact. Watch this filming of my screen where I demonstrate how to maximize and take advantage of these particular parts of Outlook. This tutorial is going to demonstrate two features that are found within Microsoft Outlook's contacts. So the first one is the notes section and the second one is the categorize option. So in this notes section, I like to include any extra information about this particular person that might come to mind. For example, my friend Tom Asa is who originally referred her to me. And so I just have his name listed in here. Any information that you include in this box is searchable when looking for this item. Let me demonstrate how you, I might search. So I go out to my contacts, and this is my typical view, the card view. And let's just say I can't remember Mandy's name. She's somebody who's brand new to me, but I do remember that my friend Tom Asa is who referred me to her. So up here in the search box, I'm just gonna type in the name Asa, hit enter, and any contacts with Asa in, in, in them will appear. So sure enough, here's Mandy's contact information. All right, so now I wanna talk about the categorize option. If you have never used the categories um, section in Outlook, you do need to take about 10 minutes to customize it for how you're going to use it. And you do that by hitting this down arrow and going down here to all categories. And what you're going to see is a list populated by Microsoft Outlook, which you could easily rename ones or delete or create new ones. For demonstration purposes right now, though, I want to categorize um, Mandy Arnold as a vendor. So I'm going to scroll down here to my list where I have vendor. And now you can see it just populated this purple banner up here with the word vendor on it. So now she's categorized as a vendor. So you might be saying, OK, why do I want categories assigned to the people in my contact list? Let me show you. So now I'm going to go to the folder that has Mandy Arnold in that folder and I'm going to change the view by clicking on view at the top of the ribbon going over here to change view and choosing the list option and now that folder is now as you can see it's now been rearranged and I've got names in a couple different categories so one of them is administrative which I'm just going to shrink up here for you but here's one that's got a lot of here's one category of customers now, let's say I want to send an email to my customers to let them know that I've got a new webinar. I'm just going to click onto this banner right here that says Categories, Customers, and then I'm going to click on the Home tab, and I'm going to say Email. And it's going to generate a new email with all of those customers' email addresses in them. And because they don't know each other, or they might be competitors, I'm going to highlight them and drag them down to the BCC um, cell. And then in the subject, I'm just going to say new webinar from Organized Audrey. And then I would type my message here, click send, and that is how easy and fast it is to be able to communicate and to categorize um, all of your contacts. If you enjoyed that Outlook tip, would you consider hitting the red subscribe button below or giving me a thumbs up? I hope you have enjoyed this productivity pointer brought to you by Organized Audrey, where our goal is to help you get more done with less stress. Make it a great day.